Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best season one arcane moments. What did you do? I made her a snack. <gasps> no! <gasps> Sheesh, I'm not that crazy. For this list, we're looking at the most gripping, impactful scenes in the first season of Netflix's animated League of Legends series, from the most exciting to the most tragic. If you haven't watched Arcane yet, do yourself a favor and check it out right now because this is your spoiler alert. What Arcane moment are you still thinking about? What do you hope to see in season two? Tell us in the comments. Number 10, Jinx Goes Berserk. all felt for Powder when her mind broke in Act 1, so there was a lot of anticipation around her reintroduction as Jinx in Act 2. Just how far gone was she? Would there be anything of Powder left? Well, this moment gave us our answer. Hi. When the firelights go after Silco's smuggled goods, Jinx springs into action. The sequence lets us see what a badass fighter she's become. However, it also reveals her new manic personality. Thinking she sees Vi, she loses control and unleashes glorious mayhem with her minigun. It's a moment that also has a poignant edge, with the fear in her face revealing how deeply the past haunts her. Number 9. Vander's Last Stand We got a glimpse of Vander fighting in Episode 1, but after his failed uprising, he hung up his gauntlets. He remains a legend in Zaun, and when he has to save Vi, we learn why. Picking up makeshift metal knuckles, he goes to town on Deckard. Only it's not enough. So in desperation, Vander downs a vial of shimmer to return to the fray. There's a heart-wrenching moment when he almost loses himself before coming back to his senses and rescuing Vi. Sadly, the act proves to be his last. Although, with all the Warwick vibes, we might have to wait for season two to know for sure. Number eight, Vi and Jace break in their new weapons. This team up was short lived, but boy was it glorious. Joining forces with Jace, Vi persuades him to hit Silco where it hurts, his shimmer factories. When the alarm is sounded, however, Silco's soldiers fly into action. The fight scene that follows sees the duo break in their signature Hextech weapons, Vi her gauntlets and Jace his hammer. The gauntlets allow Vi to add sleek new moves to her arsenal. And Jace's hammer proves to be a versatile tool. It was an awesome moment for League fans, and a pivotal scene generally, as Jace realized the cost of direct conflict. Number 7. Vi vs. Savika Round 2 we first saw Vi give him the old one-two in the pilot episode Street Brawl. Act 2 debuted a stronger, prison-hardened Vi, who mixed precise punches with a raw, scrappier style of fighting. It was almost enough to defeat Savika and her tricked-out mechanical arm. However, it's their second round that takes our spot here.
rematch sees Vi armed with Hextech gauntlets and Savika with a retractable blade. The fight choreography is breathtaking, and the animation puts us right in the thick of it. All seems lost, until Vi hears Vander's words of encouragement. What I can say is, she still needs you. They all do. So what do you say? The fact that it takes place in the last drop where Savika turned her back on Vander makes Vi's victory all the more satisfying. Number 6. Jinx vs. Echo <laughs> Oh, look who it is! The boy savior! A big part of what makes Arcane so amazing is Fortitia's creative and expressive animation, and that was on full display when Jinx faced off against Echo. It kicks off with a shift in style that flashes back to their time as childhood friends, bringing home the emotional weight of the fight. In this Since then, Echo has learned a thing or two. But although he defeats Jinx, he still sees powder in her eyes and cannot bring himself to land another blow. Jinx, on the other hand, isn't so reluctant, willing to destroy everything and everyone, including herself. It was a fight that was not only visually impressive, but also dove deep into their characters. Number 5. Jinx and Vi Reunite This was the moment we were all waiting for in Act 2. After learning that Vi is alive, Jinx lights up the flare her sister gave her years before. Oh, Powder! Their reunion is touching, at first, but it's also a moment of revelation. Jinx realizes that Vi is working with an enforcer, and Caitlyn realizes that Vi's sister killed her colleagues. They are interrupted by the firelights, leading to a heart-stopping action sequence with the sisters fighting back to back. As Jinx fights for her life, the cracks in her broken mind flash across the screen. It's a scene that manages to be both moving and edge-of-your-seat exciting. And it ends on a killer cliffhanger, with Vi and Caitlyn kidnapped. Number 4. Jace and Victor Invent Hextech Time to crank it. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Is this a partnership for the ages or what? After the council dresses him down and his patrons desert him, Jace contemplates giving up. Am I interrupting? But Victor, the dean's assistant, has taken notice of him. Together, they merge their minds to fulfill Jace's lifelong dream. And the combination is magic, literally. Thanks to Victor's input and craftiness, the two are able to stabilize Jace's hex crystal. Watching the delighted duo float around the room together, it's impossible not to smile. moment that cemented their bond, setting up their future arcs in the show. We lost ourselves, lost our dream. In the pursuit of great, we failed to do good. Number 3. Powder's Bomb Works You have to work for me, okay? Talk about a gut punch. We all came to episode 3 eager for more. 
We all left looking haggard and shocked like we'd been dragged through the streets. Milo had freed Xander. Clagger had punched a hole through the wall. All they had to do was clamor out. But poor Powder, desperate to help, loaded up a wind-up toy with hex crystals. And for once, her bomb worked. In fact, it worked so well that Milo and Clagger were crushed to death beneath the debris, and Vi and Vander were trapped. It's a tragic turn that had us holding our heads as we watched. Number 2. Jinx is Born do this. I, I didn't. I was saving you. I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help. Vi and Powder start the series as sisters clinging to each other as the world falls down around them. But episode three sees them torn apart. Despite the best intentions, Powder keeps jinxing all their missions. And when she realizes what her hex crystal bomb has done, you can see her beginning to break. I told you to stay away! Ah! No. Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx! Do you hear me? But it's Vi's angry reaction, understandable as it is, that pushes Powder over the edge. Sadly, the opportunistic Silco is there to capitalize on Vi's absence. She left me. This character shift into dark territory really felt earned. It is a tragic turn that ends a gripping and roller coaster first act. It's okay. We'll show them. We will show them all. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Vi versus Silco's goons. Donning Vander's gauntlets, she unleashes to save her friends. <laughs> Jinx revisits the past. The animation is masterful, showing us her internal strife. Jace betrays Heimerdinger. The man of progress has the revered inventor kicked off the council. With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. Vi tells Caitlin their oil and water, a scene that had us all yelling at the screen, go after her. Oil and water, was it meant to be? You're just saying that. Do yourself a favor, Cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me, okay? Silco saves Jinx. He was genuinely scared of losing her. Jinx. She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Jinx's choice, Vi or Silco? 
powder or janks. Remember who you are, I know you remember. Picture Milo! Clagger! Stop! Vander! Shut up! Don't listen to her! Yeah! Mom! Torn between her past and her present, Jinx makes a fateful choice and shoots Silco. While Silco is the villain of the series, he really cares about Jinx, and his last words are actually touching. I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. Don't cry. You're perfect. A moment that's somehow both affirming and heart-wrenching, she decides that Powder is dead and embraces her identity as Jinx. So, here's to the new us. Continuing Silco's legacy, she sets her sights on Piltover. What she doesn't know is that Jace and the Council are just about to give Zahn independence. True to her name, Jinx Byers. It was another tragic twist that left us on the edge of our seats and impatient to see what happens in season two. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.